Okay, second round. I against Andy uh, Mimg. Uh, he's one of the HK players, I think. Uh, a deck I'm not even going to try. But what have we got? We've got three mark of this. Okay. And an Obsidian Forge and an Infernus in the disc. So that's pretty strong there. Uh, we've got a Faust, but no City State to go with it. We do have a Tour Shape for some board control. Um, and then the Shadows has got. Um, Oh, we've got lights out. That's annoying. Uh, red penny, but no safe house. Okay. Um, me to go second. That is a board that kills most and sets up a daughter, I think. So, uh, yeah, we'll keep that one. We'll see what they play. If they don't play anything killable, I guess I, I, I probably just go Saurian. Oh, they played a, uh, a VAT. Okay. Well, um, yeah, that's interesting. That's a big guy. Um, might go Saurian anyway. Might go Saurian. Um, set up a reasonable log off turn there, but we're not going to make any headway into that Charybdis unless it attacks. Um, is, was that just a single turn they wanted out of their hand, or, or they actually got a Saurian turn to back it up with? Oh, Charybdis next to a shoulder it. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Logos, go through the deck, cull it a bit. Logos, we shall. Um, I guess position on bolt. Nothing to capture, so we just shoot that way. No, cancel. Let's have Cronus first. Play the Cronus on the left, because we want to leave the right for the Wrath if it turns up. End turn. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah! Okay, we can do a fair amount of damage by flipping to this. So you put the Maleficor and deal two to the uh, two to the id. Mark of dis. Okay, guess I won't be doing that. Guess I'll be going logos. So, we kill the id or the tribdis. Um, probably, I guess we. Let's think which way around we want to do this. So let's go logos anyway. Uh, or do we want to kill the forge? Killing the forge doesn't seem like a bad idea, does it? So let's animate her. Left. Even numbers because we've got the disc turn coming up, hopefully. So do it that way around. Hmm. 
yeah, I'm surprised at that turn of them. Didn't didn't seem a great disc turn. And we've now got fodder for our for our own infernus. Uh, taking out the obsidian forge is very you know very nice, very tempting. Could it? Yeah, it's obviously putting it possibly in range of theirs. We shall see. Kronos with a oh with a ping off the humble. Okay. Okay, so they've got Curiosaurus with really large creatures. Hmm. Uh, so let us go this. Uh, we'll break key to start with. Play the Infernus. Take Obsidian Forge and the Mark of Dis. I think those are the two most threatening of those. So we want to kill the Chirrib Disc with the Pain Reactor. We want to put two more on it. So that's Maleficorn. There we go. I think it's Gree's not going to live because the um, yeah the, 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 the Gallia tops can kill it, but you know it's it's dug into a load of cards for us. It's done it, you know, so that's worth it. Um, maybe it ends up back in hand if they go shadows or oh, double mugged. Oop, dark wave. Yeah. Get a key though. So let's have that key. Standardized testing right now would kill my Infernus and their Gallia tops. Or whatever I flip into being a creature, which is probably going to be the Curious Saurus. I can see it with all my board control. I can see that being more annoying than the Seeker Needle. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go Logos. Let's use that Curious Saurus. Could could move it in there to now I'll keep it in case we need it. So let us now standardize testing those two away. Reap. Let's get rid of the shrieks. Do a bot bookton. Um, collective inquiry first. What have I put in the archives? Okay, so let's I think archive the Faust with the sloppy lab work. Archive Faust. Discard the Ludo. It's not great, but I don't want to. Um, Eat into the other house options. Pass turn. We can probably have a gluttony wrath pride turn. Don't 
don't want to put too much on the glowing because they've still got the lights out in hand. Oh, not in hand, but in the deck somewhere. Oh, no, they haven't. They've just used it. Excellent. Anything else to worry about to get around my... I can't remember what Legion's March is. What is Legion's March? Well... Um... So now we've got the choice of which way around we play these. Do, do we go greedy? The lights out is gone. We could get tertiated. So no, let's not go greedy. Let's go conservative. Let's go gluttony. Then wrath. Then pride. Uh, no, I don't mind my turn. I want to reap with that fella. Now I want to end my turn. So yeah, they get their key at normal cost, but I think we're probably set up now for our second, and the boar's getting big enough. Uh, Bowering Tertiate for uh, an Obsidian Forge as well. Okay, dis probably gonna get. You gotta assume every time they go dis, you're gonna get mark of dis. Oh, harvest time. Where's my sins? Oh, that's a shame. Gave me enough for my second key though, so we'll take that. Right. I think we're in Sasaurian. We can mitigate the hedonistic intent somewhat. So let's go Saurian. Play the hedonistic intent. Play the Sagittarius. Humble that one. Reap for that one. Coming up to city state anyway, so let's um, play it but not exalt. It's fodder for the forge for next turn. Okay. 
shadows, okay. Bow anything, steal the couple. No, oh, I never penny pinches another. Get shot, get shuffled back in. I get tired of that. This, does this, this do it? Uh, pain react goes to three, four, five. Six, blow it up. One, two, four, five, six. No, this does not do it. Logos might. Logos, kill it with that. They steal one. I gain a net of one, though. So we go to three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, yeah, yeah, Logos does it, so we go, Logos, um, reap, reap with that now, see what we get, a bunch of capture that I don't really much care about, uh, let's have another dot booked in, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. Done. Uh, Hyperberg doing what it does. Dominate the board. Cheese the win off the Obsidian Forge. Uh, yes, I...